Hello, Rick27, and welcome to Rule of Waves 2 as we continue our Confederate States of America run. And as we rejoin the game, we find ourselves at war yet again with the Union. And although they have been a bit of a whipping boy in the first two wars we fought with them, we are a little bit tentative coming to this one because we've fallen behind in the tech race. And America has uh, not only laid down, but actually set sail some of the new, I wouldn't call them true dreadnought class ships, they are three centerline turrets rather than a full five, so maybe maybe semi dreadnoughts, either way they are substantially better than anything we can field at the minute, so there is a, yeah, a definite edge of caution to this war. That said, we're going to jump right back into the action and see how we get on. Battleship engagement, now this is slightly terrifying. We could say no um, and just give up 600 victory points. However, we are right beside our own home port, so I'm I'm tempted to say yes, and if it's really scary, we just run away. Um, which is fine, and then you don't get any victory point losses. It'll do the thing where it puts it on the main monitor. Alright. What we got who are you down here? Are you part of our battle fleet? That seems quite a big uh, gap you've got going on there. Let's look at our order of battle. Got the brag, got some destroyers. Yeah, okay, we do have the cruisers down here. Fair enough. So in our main battle line, we have uh, just three. Are these all long streets? Brag, the long street, and the Sims. I, I must admit, I don't know who most of these people are. Obviously, I know. Uh, I know actually, no brag, no long, long street. I do not know who Raphael Sims is. Given this, the other two, I would suggest he's someone else, Civil war -y. Um But there you go. Well, of course he has to be. It's not like Rose of CSA afterwards. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, yes. So these are rocking four 13 inch. I remember the quality. Yeah, minus one quality. Not. not. But a reasonable secondary uh, uh, 8 inch there. It is almost oh coming up dawn, okay. Alright, let's see what we bump into. Close to Boston, close to Portland. Both uh, navies ample opportunity to run away. Right, I wanna, what is your orders here? These triangular flags are under AI control. You're on scout. Yeah, that's okay. I might end up bringing you back to the main force. If and when we find something. Let's keep the speed up for now. I don't really want to pump into anything in the dark. We also may find that we just completely miss each other. It does happen. Sometimes. Especially when you start in poor vision. Okay, daybreak comes. We're just trundling along at 16 knots. In the dawn. And the beautiful daylight. Oh, hello. Ooh. And as dawn breaks, we find ourselves very close to the enemy. Okay, let's uh, let's break off to the right, I think, with our main battle line. Everyone else can kind of come in around. That is fine. Heavy cruiser at four. Uh, maybe that might be their main battle line there. I don't know. Playing plenty of that's a... Uh, Okay, yeah, destroy screen. So one cruiser, four destroyers out. Screening. We say good morning to the Brooklyn class with our 13 inch shells splashing harmlessly around it. Bit of a mess. I think we need to sort our fleet uh, lines out a little bit. Let's grab personal control of a few of these. You head over this direction. Stuff out of the way of everything else. Uh, also, in line ahead, no, oh, you're in screen. Let's go to line ahead. Now we know where they are. Now we'll get the east port, we'll catch up with him. So we're a bit more concentrated fire. Now I want to be pretty tentative here because I'm terrified of things that might be in this. I have no doubt he's going to be interested in coming for a scrap. We've got the Arizona. Three of the Arizona classes. Ooh. A 
Okay, so there, well, I mean, essentially there are six 13 inch broadsides uh, to our four. When you're looking at three Arizonas versus three of our long streets, they essentially have one extra ship's worth of guns. Is that right? No, it's actually one and a half, isn't it? They have 18 barrels. And we have um, 12. That's not a nice disparity. And they have the New Jersey in here. I can't remember what the New Jersey's got going on. Mm, some 12 inches. Okay. I think we might do a um, fighting retreat here. It says as we continue to, to sail towards them. Well, let's let's pull off. Gonna head uh, southwest. Still kind of opening our broadside to them. We're making a vague move back towards the coast. Two CAs here can have a go with the Fred Frederick, that's okay. Although, again, once we move out of vision range, they will revert to AI control because we're doing rear admirals. And if, I mean, we could potentially. They're, they're a little bit on the exposed side. We could do a destroyer run. What's your secondary's like? Eighteen six inches, yeah. That ain't nothing. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Not seeing many hits anywhere, to be perfectly honest. No issues with weather or sea state. We are ah, we're hitting their heavy cruiser, that's nice. Light cruisers are doing a whole bunch of not very much. Alright, now this is a... Well. Well, hello. Uh, this guy comes in and says, destroy them all, just as something quite spectacular happened. So I was, I was literally in <laughs> in the process of saying, this is not a sensible fight to be taken. Taking, you know, we identified we were massively outgunned, and yeah, I was continuing just to kind of trade blows with them at fairly long range. However, uh, we just hit their turret and caused a turret flash fire, so their ship just blew up. <laughs> uh, so one of their, not newest, but one of their dreadnoughts is no more. And just like that, the disparity between our main line and their main line is now gone. They're now 12 guns to 12 guns. Um, awesome. Now, obviously, this is already a victory, already a pretty massive victory. So let's have a quick, a quick squeeze at some of the numbers behind this. We're currently, I mean, minus one guns as well. It's rubbish, right? But anyway, we are currently at hit chance less than one, um, thirteen hundred yards. At thirteen hundred yards, uh, we're only punching through seven and a half inches of deck and one and a half inches. Uh, sorry, seven point two inches of belt, one and a half inches of deck, roughly. Interesting, um, the further out you go, the more deck you punch through as you end up in plunging fire rather than direct fire. Since you're lobbing shells at each other. What can you tell me? Now you have 10 inch turrets. Well, the bit we don't know, and it's probably crucial, is what is your turret top armor, which isn't listed here. I suspect that's what we punched through to cause the damage. Although you'd think it'd be a couple of inches, but it, just because um, you're not, you wouldn't expect to penetrate doesn't mean you always won't. That's ours, isn't it? Yeah. The midfield to get hit from the Fredericks class. is four nine inch guns. I think we've got you. Well, we've got two ships for a start. Or heavies rocking ten inches. Yeah. 
Good. All right, I'm I'm a much happier bunny now. I mean, that was a healthy slice of luck. But, uh... Oh, we'll see. Give me a lucky Admiral in this case. Been a good one. Eight Lancemore hits on the Arizona and the Frederick. Again, I'm happy just to kind of pepper them from range at the minute. We get one hit in the Midgeville and return three on the Frederick. The Alexandra bearings overheating on high. Revolutions. Oh, we're going too fast. Is that your squad max? What's your design max? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, it tells me a 20. Yeah, okay, I'm going at top speed for too long. It's it's worn them out a little bit. Okay, slow down to 18, lads. And still seeing pepperings of both Frederick, who's got to be starting taking a bit of, uh, bit of trouble. Well, let's have a quick quick glance at these guys. What are you rocking armor-wise, Frederick? Four and a half inch belt. And we are punching with <clears throat> 10 inch quality zero. That's almost 10,000 yards. So, uh, no, we are punching through. Okay. We should be regularly poking holes in him. Oh, an engine room hit on the uh, Raphael Sims. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Karma came back. <sighs> so our long streak got hit as a secondary flash fire. Oh, I'm not, I've not protected my secondaries enough. Ship blows up. Ouch. Ouch. Long street. Gone too soon. And just like that, we've now lost power train. We're behind again. Ah, okay. We've now swapped a battleship for a pre red dot. We're 20,000 tons. How much is Arizona? 18. So technically, we're slightly behind on tonnage here. We may have just turned a victory into a defeat. I wish my ships would stop blowing up. We are landing a lot more hits. For whatever reason they are, it seems to be um, leaving their battleships fairly isolated. I think the time has come for perhaps each and damage a uh, torpedo run. You guys, stop being in screen formation for a start. Uh, go into core, line ahead. Right, not core, support, I think is what I want. Stay in control for now, but stuff out. George, you're on your own, George. It's not much use to me. Samuel, Samuel, Arnold, and John. Three of you. What else have we got here? Just two. All fairly small. Right, you lads, time to shine. Gonna go smoke out. Squad max. Five over this way. Let's see if we can't uh, get a cheeky torpedo in here. Or something else blows up. Again, another. Well, I see so we're trading a hit there for a hit there. And again, the engine room hits, which are terrifying. Big ships being slow in this game is generally a. Uh, Recipe for disaster. Continue to hit with our secondaries more than our primaries. That's okay. And continue to pe pepper the Frederick. It's uh, probably starting to suffer a little bit. We'll continue to return fire. These guys are laying smoke, which should make them harder to hit. Okay, now we're going to come due south. 
We are going to eat a lot of uh, secondary fire here. Taking in your miss. Right, come down. The Oh, the light cruiser's getting involved. We have closed range dramatically here. Do I want to come this side of Arizona? Potentially. It's going to... If they turn away, they've got to turn away towards my fleet. Now, our destroyers may have difficulty getting here alive. There's a lot of guns trained on them right now. We'll lay smoke, we'll charge forward. See if we can get done. Now, uh, Samuel Barron's taking a hit. He's going to get left behind. George. Here's a favour and head over this way, just to uh, pen them in a little bit more. We're getting very close to having a potential dissolution, and we've got a nice row of five destroyers here, actually. So some ammunition for him too. I'm sorry, Jeff, I just saw that message. I'm not sure when you said send him destroyers, but uh, yes, you are right. It's a good thing to do, although so far they seem particularly uncaring about the fact that I have many, many light forces towards them. And the stern chase is always a long chase. Really, you've got to do something. Okay. It looks like they're turning away now, but just turning into trouble here. Oh, come on, right. Surely we've got to get them with this. Come on, Arnold. Come on, John. There's one away. Uh, where is William Glacial? Get up here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we did launch one. Uh, let's see how that goes. Oh, that was a miss, but that looked good. Yes. Boom. Two. Oh, Arnold. You did us proud. Okay. So Arnold put two torpedoes in the Arizona. And then uh, in, in what was a, a charge of a light brigade-esque appearance. It was awesome. So two torpedoes in the 20,000 or 18,000 tons. I think that should be them. Oh, we hit another one. Awesome. It's the uh, John get Wood getting in action here. Okay, so she is dead. And hopefully she's damaged enough where uh, she's about to eat a whole bunch more torpedoes. Now, we do need to be careful because they don't like firing torpedoes in their own ships that are potentially in a line of fire. Even if it is just little destroyers. You guys go down this way. You peel off. You. Oh, pretty much when I decided it. Awesome to find That's always nice when the uh, great minds think alike. I'll not mention anything about fills and seldom differing. Yeah. Please don't ram them. We rammed them. Dude. I mean, a valiant effort, but really? Uh, right, turn together. Everyone turn this way. Slow down a little bit. We'd give someone... Okay, let's actually turn back up that way. Okay, someone should have a nice solution. Robert, I'm looking at you, Robert. Meanwhile, we have to watch we're not sailing ourselves into trouble here. Uh, let's pull you guys away. Come on, Robert. Oh, uh, one away. It's a miss, though. Turn off, turn together. Lots of smoke in the battle area. I should probably get these guys to lay smoke as well. Uh, you guys should probably tar target light cruiser, but it's fine for now. You guys are starting to take on my New Jersey, which is bold, but I don't, uh, I'm not going to dissuade it. I think we just need one more torpedo in this bad boy. She's got a big honour. I thought that was it. Oh, I thought that was it. Charles Morris. Which one's that? Oh, this one here. 
Again, sacrifice. Yes, yes, two more. Okay, good. That cost us three destroyers, um, but that is a, a perfectly uh, acceptable price to pay for two battleships. Four destroyers. Okay, I'll still, I'll still take it. Alright, yeah. Good. Alright, you guys come over this way. And I think we might call that a good daily office. We could potentially try and go after New Jersey, but our light forces are a little bit spent. Um, and I don't want to ruin things by taking a torpedo into my pre-dreadnoughts. She'll retreat, I think. Satisfied we've severely bloodied the uh, Union Navy. Awesome. Back on the eye control. Good. I hope uh, my... It's the Admiral, but I am an Admiral. Whoever's in charge of me isn't upset if I didn't press further. Attach your centre home. Everyone can head home. Just to make sure we uh, aren't too badly damaged or doing any flooding on our. No, no, no. Head to attach you. I want to see how damaged you are. You are absolutely fine. Sail of home for Portland for a parade. Awesome. <laughs> Send the Yanks back to the drawing board once again. Yes, everyone go into the port. Come on. You guys just gonna sail a bit randomly, okay? Let's wait for the time to time out. I didn't know what the objective was here. Was it anything other than a big fight? No, it was just a big fight. Good. There we go. Huzzah! So we did unfortunately lose the long street, but yeah, we took out all Arizona. So that's huge, huge. Let's look at these ship details. So they are, wow, oh, so their they're main battle ships, Colorado, Ohio, Arizona, they only hit between them four times, four shells. That seems ludicrously low. Let's, uh, let's sort of div division, yeah. So we can look at the CSA battle division. What did we hit? Well, okay, actually, to be fair, we only hit seven times. So we didn't do that much better. So who for you did you plot first? Uh doo -doo -doo. no, you took a torpedo. Two torpedoes. Must have been the Colorado. My God, so you hit once, one hit, and it blew up. She was an eight-inch shell. By the Raphael Sems, one high explosive shell. Hit it. Good night. Crazy. And who who did the who did the dirty on James here? He was only hit once as well, there you go. The Ohio. Well, at least we avenged you. Yeah, 13 inch shell straight through one of the uh, secondary turrets. Hmm. 
Cool. Same designer as the hood. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Pretty much. A major victory, two prestige, all the rich points you could ever want. Awesome. Uh, oh, there's a raider floating around in Southeast Asia. I don't know. Fine. I don't have anything out there. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, ah, Japan's getting involved in action. I always forgot the, um, we were allied to them. Quite a, it doesn't really matter in the game, but it's quite a nice ally considering we are very focused on the kind of um, Atlantic side of things and they could be the Pacific operations. In reality, it doesn't work like that. The, the AIs don't fight each other, unfortunately. Uh, we are now actually blockading them. We have so few ships here. Now the blockade mechanic is always a bit divisive. Essentially the way it works is you just uh, it gives you points for your ships in the sea zone and compares them to the other country's points. If you have more than they do and it's their home region then you blockade them. It's a bit silly if you think I have 10 battleships and he has 9 then I can completely blockade them. It's a bit, a bit simplified but c'est la vie, that's how it works. However in this case we have almost 3 times what they have so that's fairly realistic. Uh, yeah, cool. Alright, I'm not doing any more building or anything like that until we get the next couple of ships out. We have a convoy defence in... Really? Hmm. Unexpected battle. I don't like this. I'm going to be outgunned here. I've got one... Oh, I've got CA, an old CA, an old CL. No, two CLs. Against presumably two CAs. I don't particularly want to fight, I don't think. Might need to move some of my CAs down here. Hello! I might just run away and give you this one. Yeah, two Brooklyn class. Pretty sure I could eat my CLs for breakfast. Four nine inch turrets, five inch belt. We're walking, what, six inches? Three inch belt, a couple of six inch guns. Even the McCray, I don't think, is that good. Uh, yeah, he's 8, eight inches. Same belt, but less armament. And we do have a lot of ships, though. Well, we need to head up this way anyway to get towards Baracoa on um, Cuba. Actually, it's all ours. We can go anywhere. Uh, let's get our speeds up actually before we do anything else. Doo -doo -doo. Slow, these are all slow ships. I don't want this fight. I think we're just going to head over towards the coast. What? That's all. Okay, good. I will happily send the stores in as a screen to chase them away if need be. And it's just going to be a bad day for merchants as they watch us run away. Oh, we're hitting them. Where I get tempted into fight, I don't. I shouldn't take. I mean, if we can steer them clear of our convoys, then I suppose you could call that good enough. Another hit on the Brooklyn. No hits on us yet. Massively outgunned, though. Time to pepper them. Though. I'm surprised. Okay, maybe it's time to convince them to leave us alone. Lee Smoke. One Max. Head north. Yeah, and there the hits come in. Just cut across them. Convince them to leave. Bye bye. Go away. Good. 
Ish. I said, go away. Danger of starting to lose some of my destroyers at this rate. Alright, we'll pull off. Oh. It's gonna be like that, is it? Well, I can turn quicker than you can. Okay. Was an uh, unexpected opportunity. So unexpected, I don't think my crews are gonna take it. No, they did not. Hmm, interesting. Well, I suppose we'll try again. And make sure we're laying smoke. Now this is interesting. We could separate them. One I could probably happily take on. Actually, that was a good turn. No, that was a good turn. You're going to come over here. You're going to come back. Uh, peppering them with four inch guns. We'll take their toll. I mean, these aren't massive ships. We're reporting medium damage already. Uh, only 12,000 tons. We may be just burning them out with HE. We just hit ourselves with a torpedo. The white fired a torpedo at the Brooklyn, and then the William Webb sailed in front of it. Uh, my CLs do have torps, yes. They're also a possible use. I can't believe we just did that. Do you know how hard it is to hit a, a destroyer with a torpedo? Like, not, not even your own one. Just anyone. And we've managed to do it to ourselves. Even my CAs have torps. Do you have torpedoes, Mr. Brooklyn Class? an eye out for that. Yeah, William Webb is in trouble, but okay, so now you William you just need to eat a few rounds. Because you are not much good to me apart from that. Let's behind. Made it. Ideally I wanted you to turn back down towards the rest of my horses. Dangerous place for these destroyers to be. We are trying to separate them. I've managed it to a certain extent. Now we're pointing heavy damage. We might just be able to sink this guy through gunnery alone. Even though we're outgunned in terms of caliber, we may just have enough small, uh, small caliber weapons to get the job done. Go on, James. I believe in you. Shouldn't have done. Okay. No, say this said this is a fight I wasn't going to take, and I've I've just been drawn into it. Darwin doing his work again. Too right. Uh, well, let's just hope, uh, Mister, uh, the captain of William Webb's ship went down with it, because uh, pleasant list doesn't. Pleasant things not to wait him ashore if he didn't. Okay, that's good. Nice couple of torpedoes out there, you two. There's one in them. And that should be. Should be essentially enough, I think. In the gunnery damage and everything else. Maybe not, maybe not quite yet. Blood's definitely in the water though. Keep yourself safe, McCray. I don't want you to get a torpedo. Alahasi, yeah, you know, you're fine actually. Speed you're going. Uh, okay, interesting way to misunderstand signals. Corp. Uh, they hit your submerged mount. Destroyed on the port side, and you're reloading your starboard one. I mean, you fired it. Yes, you did, and you hit him. Good lad, Tallahassee. Okay, one dead Brooklyn class. Awesome. Now I think we're just gonna go home. Job done. Let's 
get out of here. Looks like the Richard Page may not survive this encounter. We might lose, yeah, William Webb. So a couple of destroyers lost. Cree getting in on the action. Well done. You can hit a sinking ship with a torpedo. Congratulations. He, oh, he's coming back now. I'm probably not interested in taking this fight. He says again. Yeah, no, I think I'll leave him at this point. Oh, we've got the merchants home. Oh, critical hit. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, Alright, we're going to have to come scare him off, if nothing else. Yeah, that's fine. You can detach and head home. Right, he scares off. Good. Rapid hook can go for home under a protective gaze of McRae. Graf Spee vibes. Yes. Is that the one that uh, essentially took damage and ended up in Montevideo? After being charged by destroyers. I can't remember. There are things I should know and uh, always forget. Right, job done. You're apparently my new division. Go to Guantanamo Bay. How? How are you alive, William? That's uh, that's unexpected. He didn't die. He took a torpedo. Six hundred ton destroyer. Took a torpedo. Yeah. Okay. It was one C and two CLs. Yeah. I was, uh, it's really interesting that actually, um, and how, um, uh, like, information stuff played a big part of that, because obviously sawed it off to, uh, to Uruguay and then got told he had to leave, and was, uh, what's it called, scuttled the ship rather than face the Royal Navy, because he thought there was a massive fleet there, but, like, there, there wasn't essentially, there was a window where he could have escaped, but he didn't know that of power of misinformation, or not misinformation, but lack of information. Anyway, that's a random interesting side. Okay, wow, uh, he didn't he didn't die. None of them died. How did I not lose a single destroyer there? That's uh, surprising. You're it. I can't do that as a percentage. Almost sunk. Don't bug out. No, no, don't do it to me. Okay, that worked. Uh, uh, doesn't have a damage percentage. Anyway, you survived. So I guess I should uh, should reward that captain for his damage control efforts, even if not for his sailing ability. Okay, so we lost a sub, sunk one merchant. It's not a great payback, but our subs are pretty terrible at the minute. Okay, and we've got pretty much got this war on the buy. It's just a matter of closing at time and seeing what fun we can get up to. One more convoy defense, okay. We might start seeing declines, indeed we do. Fleet battle, I see they'll probably decline again. Fleet battle, fine, all right. Spray, the Soto, and oh, peace terms. Um, I'm okay. We can keep going. Try and squeeze out some higher score. Keeps my budget up as well. Keeps everyone else's budget up as well. To be fair, around the world, they are 
blockaded, so they're going to come under a lot of pressure very quickly. Okay, one more month, and we will be in the black, despite building two Valkyries, which is nice. Uh, yeah, I'll accept this. It's a shame, I thought we'd get a new battle cruiser involved. Lots of declines. The fight. Got the Bayou City and the Pamlico. These are okay, more of a Cray classes. They're not the greatest ships in the world. Right, just run on, see what we run into. I'll teach him to pay his mess bills on time. Oh, from a good response from crew. It's all about the spin, you see. He could have been brandished a, a reckless captain. Shamed. And he comes back. His crew think he's a hero for keeping them afloat. So. Or who knows. Maybe it was the Exo stepped up in the moment of panic. Uh, we think there's a... Uh, God knows how I've got this scouting report, by the way. Fisherman told us. Eh, I think we're just going to ship something out here. That is a battleship. I don't want to face it. Interesting. Don't know where my convoy is, actually. Oh, they're right here. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't abandon them. How much do I care? Not enough. This is not going to be an interesting fight. All these reports. Uh, there's enough consistency where I'm happy this is either going to be a battleship or a battle cruiser. Neither of which I could stand up to. With a reasonable expectation of a positive outcome. Doesn't mean we couldn't fluke ourselves a victory. But that's not going to be the plan. and we'll take a slight loss. Sounds of gunfire in the distance. And you'd like to think, well, maybe the uh, heavy ships in Portland come out and join us? No, that's how it works. Yeah, we're just going to go home. I mean, to be honest, you think the uh, transports would be able to run down the coast to get here soon enough, but eh, maybe not. Not if you're that close to the enemy fleet. Run! me scout reports, I really don't mind. Just gotta wait till the uh, time runs out. Or the Americans have enough. I don't have any airships yet. Which is why I'm surprised I'm getting reports at all. At least I don't think I have airships. I'm pretty sure I haven't got that tech yet. Double check. Ah, come on now. Thing is, I don't think the convoy actually goes into port. I think if they, they get nearby and then they just stop. Or sail past. Either way, it's not going to be very good for their health. And just... Oh, you are running, that's good.
Come on. Give the Yanks our rear victory. I would like a way to be able to just uh, skip to the end of this stuff. Problem is every time there's combat, it wants to slow down. Alright, there we go. Dusk falls. I should... <laughs> I think that should quiet things down. Not quite. Okay, there we go. How much damage do we do? They sunk six ships, fair enough. It'll be uh, an American victory. They did have two battle cruisers present, yeah. That was... I'm, I'm happy enough with that decision. Ah, oh, come on, we give him like 200 victory points. Fuah, he says. Fuah. Engine problem yards. We're raiding. They are raiding the American East Coast. Okay, well, why don't we grab. Of our new slightly faster boys, uh, they are working up. But let's say stick two of you on trade protection, and then move you to uh, the North American East Coast. And in the aftermath of a rare Union victory, we're going to draw this episode to a close. So all in all, I think the war has been going spectacularly well. A fairly decisive battle where we took out three of their new quote-unquote dreadnought uh, class battleships uh, and I think that was really the, the turning point and all that's really left from this stage four is just to close out without suffering too much uh, in a way of loss ourselves so it doesn't make the most exciting content but I think the decision there to run from those battle cruisers was definitely the correct one as ever if you're interested in coming out and seeing this happen live then there's links in the description below otherwise I hope you have enjoyed this one and we'll see you all in the next one cheerio